We're making shrimp stuff hamburgers, and they're gonna be really good. I, mean, I could have made uh, just a regular burger, but I want some good food, and I want food that's new and exciting. You know, we've been sitting in this house not doing nothing for X amount of days, <laughs> right? So I want to put shrimp in my burger. So that's what's about to happen. As y'all can see, it's snowing outside. One reason I don't want to get out is because of that. Well, the number one reason is probably because of coronavirus, but the second reason is because it's cold outside. I don't want to be in that stuff. So I'm going to go through my refrigerator, my pantry, to put something together. I usually buy turkey, but since I can't go buy a burger, I'm going to make my own damn burger. All right, so now I need to let these thaw out. That's why I'm taking them out in the middle of the day. And later on, I'll cook them for y'all. Okay, so we ran through the house earlier. We found everything I had in the refrigerator, everything I had in the pantry. I'm about to walk you through the different ingredients. <clears throat> and uh, first, I'm gonna show, start off with the seasons. So I'm gonna keep it real simple. Black pepper, garlic powder, sea salt. Okay, <clears throat> as I said earlier, here's our ground beef. Beef. Here's our shrimp. A head of lettuce. And sesame seed buns. Why sesame seed? Just make the picture look good. <laughs> <laughs> Be honest. Um, potatoes. I'm going to make French fries out of these. Bell pepper, like always, and onion. And here's the star of the party. Uh, for garnishments, if you want to use pickles, uh, mustard, I like honey mustard. Well, Lindsay like honey mustard, so I had the real mayo. And this is also the uh, person that had the cameo today, the Sweet Baby Rays. Shit is fire. <laughs> all right, so first, I'm gonna cut up my onion. And all you need is a half onion. Dice that up. Thank you. I'm just gonna keep on chopping them, chopping them, chopping them, chopping them. Remember, I'm not a professional chef, so <laughs> I'm a damn good chef, is what I am. All right, uh, let's take our bell pepper. We don't need this. The tag? Let me tell you why I take to make sure I take this off because <laughs> I was cooking one time and I saw a tag in my food. I like to make my own fresh fries. Regular yellow potato, you know, real good. Y'all gonna love it. Again, you don't have to do all of this. You can go buy your own fresh fries. I'm a bit fancy. Fries cut fresh. Just me. And don't tell them what them people doing in the goddamn factory. If you want the good square cut, like this. See that square cut? That's a perfect square cut. You cut the sides off. Oh, this is trash. And then you take it and you want to cut about a half an inch a piece. So I cut, I cut, I cut. I cut, and one last cut. All right, so this, I'm gonna give me four french fries out of this. There you go, four french fries. Same thing, just keep doing them. Half inch, that's a short one. I forgot to tell you guys, you need an egg. The reason why you need an egg is because it's gonna make everything stick together. Just open up our meat, take that, still a bit frozen. I'm gonna break them down, break them down. Thank you. Yes. Drop this bell pepper and onion in there. Hey. I'm just gonna drop all that goodness in there. And let's start mixing it up. I want every piece to have a little bell pepper and onion on it. Break that egg. Yeah. And drop that in there. Nah, 
People who don't like messy stuff might not like this. You want to grab a small piece of meat. What would be a half of a burger. So our shrimp is peeled. All right, so let's move our shrimp onto the half a burger. And these are gonna be some good sized burgers. And it fits just like a yin and yang. So I'm gonna grab some more meat. I'm gonna make another half. I'm gonna set it on top of that. And let's close them. Close them, close them, close them. Close them. Voila. All right, first, I'm gonna take these fresh fries I cut. And I'm gonna stick them here just to make sure they're hot enough. Just to make sure my grease is hot enough. You hear that sound? That popping sound? That means your grease is hot enough. About a handful at a time. So I don't want this grease to pop on me. So he's already popping. You know? Just set them in there. Now y'all, I don't want to hear if y'all call me and tell me like other people, oh, you need a wooden spoon. You need this, that, and the third. Bruh, I make good food with it. A wooden spoon wouldn't change none of the flavors that's gonna be on this food. This food's gonna be good. So let me tell you, I don't know the exact time fresh fries take to cook, but when they start floating, when french fries start floating, they ready. Now you can see. See how it's moving with the water? They floating. That's all you want to see. Um, I'm going to let mine go a little longer because I like mine extra crispy. And then I'm going to move them over here to my, uh, my pan and let them air dry. Avocado oil is not going to have them super brown. So, you know, we clean eating over here. So I'm going to uh, start taking them out. Let a little bit of that grease get off of them. You set them on top of that. Let's keep doing the same thing. Grab them. Bam. I got that like bam sound. Look out in the intro. Bam. I'm about to season these french fries. And what I like to put on my french fries is a little sea salt and just black peppercorn. My seasoning dropped all the way at the bottom of the pan. So I took this little bar off. And I want to keep them warm because I want them, you know, at a good temperature when we're ready to eat. Nobody likes cold french fries. Nobody. So I'm going to take these french fries and I am going to stick them in the oven at 200 degrees. And just let them keep warm. All right, I'm just going to put a dab. Literally, a dab. We got burgers and we're going to season them. Get them off this pan. And I'm just gonna basically put salt over the top. Salt over the top. Salt over the top. Salt over the top. Same thing, black pepper over the top. Black pepper over the top. I don't wanna put a ton of garlic, because I'm about to put garlic next. I don't wanna put a ton of garlic. So I take this and I basically just cover one side. I don't wanna cover both sides of garlic. I just like garlic. My daddy told me a long time ago, the reason why I never get sick is because he put garlic on every one of his sandwiches. And so, I'm a garlic fiend because of Prentice Boy. And you know what, I don't have coronavirus. Maybe it's because of garlic. <laughs> you think so? I think so. Let's grab this burger. And we're just gonna lay him down. Yeah. Same thing. Just let them cook, let them sit. Uh, I don't have a specific time. I want to cook these burgers for a while because don't forget there's shrimp on the inside. I've never seen anybody cook a shrimp burger. I might be the first person to do this. Let them cook, let them sit. Uh, it's gonna be grease that's gonna come off the burger. And uh, when I feel like it's cooked on the bottom, I'll take it off. I'm gonna I'll flip it. I'm gonna flip them. 
Remember, you want the inside to cook well, so start flipping often because you don't want it to char the outside too much. I want them well done. The reason why I want them well done, I want my shrimp to be cooked on the inside. And we're gonna put our cheese. Cover them. Cover the cheese. That's to get your cheese to melt properly on top of the patty. I just said I put a bun on there. Let me see it. Set them here. Set them here. All right, now you see cheese is melted. Drop that burger. Drop that burger. And let's see what this burger looks like on the inside. Somebody say they want me to cook a simple meal. I cook the simple meal. You should burger and fries. Let me know something else. Now my burger and fries might be different from you know, the next man burger and fries, but you know, you know it's levels to this. Can somebody make this with turkey burgers? Yeah, you could. You can, you can make it with turkey burgers. You still use shrimp, or you can use veggie patties and leave the shrimp out. You still season it and cook it the way the same way I did, and uh, toast your bread the same way I did. And vegan cheese. Oh yeah, vegan cheese. <laughs> <laughs> this is my song. My mom used to play this when we was in the car. Let's see if it comes back on y'all. I'm gonna play this for y'all. This hey look, I'm gonna give y'all some free game right now. Hold on, hold on. I'm free game right now. You, you, since you've been 